Hello and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2021. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering Psalms 110 through 112 and 1 Corinthians 5. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice so that the reading of your Word will be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Psalm 110 of David, a psalm. The Lord says to my Lord, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies a footstool for your feet. The Lord will extend your mighty scepter from Zion, saying, Rule in the midst of your enemies. Your troops will be willing on your day of battle, arrayed in the holy splendor. Your young men will come to you like dew from the morning's womb. The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest forever in the order of Melchizedek. The Lord is at your right hand. He will crush kings on the day of his wrath. He will judge the nations, heaping up uh, the dead and crushing the rulers of the whole earth. He will drink from a book a brook along the way, and so he will lift his head high. Psalm 11 Praise the Lord! I will exalt the Lord with all my heart, in the council of the upright and in the assembly. Great are the works of the Lord, they are pondered by all who delight in them. Glorious and majestic are his deeds, and his righteousness in, endures forever. He has caused his wonders to be remembered. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. He provides food for those who fear him. He remembers his covenant forever. He has shown his people the power of his work, given them the lands of other nations. The works of his hands are faithful and just, and all his precepts are trustworthy. They are established forever and ever. In, interacted in faith and uprighteousness, his, he provided redemption for his people. His ordained, he has ordained his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and all who follow his precepts have good understanding. To him belongs eternal praise. Psalm 112. Praise the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in his commands. The children will be mighty in the land. The generations of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches in their house and their righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness light dawns for the upright, for those who are gracious and compassionate and righteous. Good will come to those who are gracious and generous and lend freely, who conduct their affairs with justice. Surely the righteous will never be shaken. They will be remembered forever. They will have no fear of bad news. Their hearts are steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Their hearts are secure. They will have no fear. In the end, they will look into triumph on their foes, and they have freely scattered their gifts to the poor. Their righteousness endures forever. Their horn will be lifted high in honor. The wicked will see, will see the, and be vexed, and they will gnash their teeth and waste away. The longings of the wicked will come to nothing. Okay, that was Psalms 110 through 112. Now we will be turning to 1 Corinthians 5. And uh, let's see, 1 Corinthians 5. 
dealing with a case of incest. 1 Corinthians 5. Is it actually reported that there is sexual immorality among you and of a kind that even pagans do not tolerate? A man is sleeping with his father's wife and you are proud? Shouldn't you rather have gone into mourning and have put out of your fellowship the man who has been doing this? For my part, even though I am not physically present, I am with you in spirit as one who is present with you in this way. I have already passed judgment in the name of our Lord Jesus on the one who has been doing this. So when you are assembled and I am with you in spirit and the power of the Lord Jesus is present, hand this man over to Satan for he... Uh, for the destruction of his, the flesh so that his spirit may be saved on the day of the Lord. Your boasting is not good. Do not know. Do not you know that a little yeast leavens the whole batch of dough? Get rid of the old yeast so that you may be a new unleavened batch as you really are. For Christ our Passover lamb has been sacrificed and therefore let us keep the festival not with the old bread leavened with malice and wickedness but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. I wrote to you in my letter not to associate with sexual immorality of people and not at uh, all meetings the people of this world who are immoral or the greedy and swindlers or idolaters. In that case, you would have to leave this world. But now I am writing to you that you must not associate any more with whom claims to be a brother or a sister, but is sexually immoral, or greedy, or an idolater, or slanderer, a drunkard, or a swindler. Do not even eat with such people. Whatever business is of mind to judge those outside the church, are you not to judge those inside? God will judge those outside. Expel the wicked persons from among you. And that was 1 Corinthians 5. A lot of churches need to start picking up the information right here in 1 Corinthians 5. There are a lot of them out there, unlike our church, that uh, do not do what is expected of Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 5. Our church follows it to the letter. Please uh, join us. We're over at... Uh, um, I'm sorry. That concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2021 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering um, Psalms 13 through 15 and 1 Corinthians 16. Uh, yes, like I was going to say, join us over at... Uh, Refreshing Word Fellowship Christian Church. Refreshing Word Fellowship is a Christian church of non-denominational Christians. And uh, we are located at 2021. Uh, no, I'm sorry. We are located at 2054 Campus Drive in St. Charles, Missouri. So uh, that's a 636 area code. Come on over and, enjoy, and join us if you uh, would like to have a Bible-based church which, uh, which relies on the uh, on hold on just a second we'll get that right here which relies on 1 Corinthians 5 uh, of course these this is somewhere where you need to be in a church.
that will let you know uh, what kind of sins that you are committing so that you can stop and repent and be saved in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, my friends, normally I don't advertise for the church that I go to, but hey, in this case, it needed to be done. So, uh, this has been Shenandoah Briscoe coming to you from St. Charles, Missouri, and I have been your messenger of the Word of God, and I am uh, just uh, saying, Father, I just thank you for your Word, because without your Word, I could not be your messenger of the Word. I give you all the praise and all the glory in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And they all said, Amen. I've done it again. Somehow, I keep losing my mouse. Where is it? Ah. Well, Father, uh, help me. Help me bring back my mouse. Somehow it keeps going away. And it's not following my eye. I need to shut down. Sorry. Hey, Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Can you come and throw your hand across this thing? I can't get out of my video. Can't get out of the blog. Just run your hand across that thing up there again so that I can move my mouse and shut down the video. I'm still I'm still in play, so if you want to go around the back side and wave your hand across that thing, you're on camera with the, the on the Bible with Briscoe. So either way I just need that your hand waved across that square thing up there again. I've lost my mouse. Okay, there we go. Thank you. Uh, thank you, folks, again, for tuning in. And uh, by all means, God bless you. And don't forget to come back tomorrow because, well, I'll be here. And I hope that you are.